What's up tricksters, my name is Charlatan and today I'm going to share with you two very important tips that I have been using in Radiant, Valorant, Solo Queue and in general speaking like in, in CSGO and Valorant as well. These things I didn't see people use that much and that often, especially people that I'm coaching in Valorant. So I was like, maybe I should share this with you guys and girls because then I don't need to explain you these things in my coaching sessions and I don't need to waste like uh, 30 minutes of explaining this simple mechanic. So today I'm giving you two advanced tips and tricks that I use as a Radiant player to gain a bit of advantage over the enemies and to make my job easier. This will especially be helpful for you guys in Iron, Silver, Gold, Platinum and Diamond because you will... <laughs> you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Let's go, let's jump, let's jump. First tip that I have for you boys and girls is something that you see a lot on my streams and a lot of people think that I'm crazy for doing this. So basically if you have, for example, I have like one smoke here and one omen and smoke here and let's say I'm playing with jet here so sometimes I will do something like this so I'm looking at my enemy that is in the lamps like uh, maybe gonna cross the lamps etc and I'm doing something like this I'm inspecting my weapon all the time 24 7 for no particular reason and a lot of people in stream think bro this guy is crazy he has the default skins what is he showing off like <laughs> this poor charlatan from Kazakhstan man <laughs> <laughs> but Charlotte man actually 200 IQ big brain mode basically what I'm doing when I'm inspecting weapons in Valorant I'm allowing myself to have a higher POV of the positions from which the enemies might peek me basically the guns in Valorant uh, obstruct way too much vision and sometimes you will not be able to see all the corners and all the angles from which the enemies might peek you so let's say I have the omen o omen smoke here and the omen smoke here and let's say I'm watching the people crossing the lamps something like this or watching that maybe enemy jet will dash here etc I don't see this right side the enemy omen or the enemy player might easily peek me here and fuck me like a little potato potato so what I'm doing in this situation to gain a bit better POV of the enemies and POV of my whole screen I inspect my weapon to actually see if the enemies are gonna cross on my right side there and also I see this angle and this angle and this angle so that is why I'm using the inspect weapon in Valorant I'm allowing myself to have a higher POV of the positions from which the enemies might peek me this is especially helpful when you're holding some type of a off angle let's say you're holding something stupid like this like I, I don't know maybe you have the operator here and you're holding like this this operator is so goddamn big my PP is small so I cannot make any big big jokes but this operator scope is so damn big of course this is something that you you will never hold but I'm just giving you an example how you can utilize this mechanic to allow yourself to have a bit better like uh, advantage or the enemies uh, angles that you're holding etc so right here what I would do is I would do something like this I would inspect my weapon and now I see this part of the map and this part of the map equally that is why I'm spamming the inspect weapon in the games sometimes when I'm holding off angles, when I'm holding some weird angles, weird positions, when I get smoked, etc. Because now I can easily react on the enemy that is here, enemy that is here, etc, etc. And I don't need to worry about multiple corners and angles. Because the guns in Valorant obstruct way too much vision. In CSGO, we can completely change the view model, so the gun is literally inside of our PP and body, while in Valorant we cannot change the view model, we can only change the gun from left to right, but that doesn't do anything really like, uh, it's like whatever. Okay, so let's say that you're pushing in the mid area, and you have three teammates in front of yourself pushing this area, and you don't have the smoke here, and you need to look, look behind your teammates in order to cover the, their ass from vents and from the mid area as well, so you're holding some position like this. Your gun right now is obstructing the vision of this whole area here. So instead of me risking being peeked from this area and this area in the same time, I use the inspect weapon and then I see this peak close here and this peak here without any problem. The enemy engages here, pew 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 pew. The enemy engages on the right side, pew 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 pew. Basically, uh, I'm having an extremely good crosser placement at one point of the map and I'm reacting like uh, on with my crosser placement 50% on this point of the map I mean 100% I'm focused on this point of the map with my peripheral vision I'm looking my crosser 
and with my main eyesight I'm looking at this area to see the enemy. If some color changes on my crosser here, I will immediately start shooting the enemy and try to kill him because I already know that I have good crosser placement at this area. If I see the enemy on the right, no problem. Easy flick and that enemy is donezo. By the way, you can jump on this box if you use the crouch jump and release the crouch like when you hit it, like whatever. <laughs> My key bind for inspect weapon is T and because of that I'm able to press it like multiple times. Like it's very easy for me to reach it. But I usually recommend a key bind to be somewhere where you can just hit it easily, like with your thumb or maybe your somewhere on your mouse, uh, because this mechanic is really, really important in FPS video games like CSGO and Valorant. Like in CSGO, this mechanic can save your life uh, so many times, especially in Valorant when you're using Operator, bro. This Operator is in your face. It's obstructing your vision. It's very, very bad. Second thing that I see people are not utilizing or using in their games in lower ranks, even in Radiant sometimes, are the smart pings. Smart pings are the most important tool that Valorant has implemented in this game. Number one, smart pings can be used as a free crosser placement tool. Number two, as a communication tool to give info to your teammates. teammates. Number three, as a free wall hack tool. And number four, as a free wall hack tool when you're retaking sites or when you're shooting the enemies through smokes. I'm gonna elaborate a bit more on those topics. If you don't want to practice crosser placement in custom servers alone constantly, reminding yourself how to pick angles and corners, how to push enemies, which corner to pick one at a time, slicing the pie, using different techniques, etc., you can fix your crosser placement with smart pings easily. The number one thing that you need to learn is how to use the, the, these pings on proper positions when you're picking the enemies. The more you use smart pings, the better you will become at pinging the enemies. So for an example, let's say you want to engage this area of the map. Like 90%, 80% of the times, the enemy will play this angle here. So you can, before you even start the round, before you engage that enemy, you can already ping that position and now you know approximately where you need to position your crosser horizontally and vertically to engage that enemy. The thing that you need to learn is how far do you need to position your crosser from this little ping. So basically I already know where my vertical crosser placement needs to be. This is extremely helpful when the enemies are on the elevated positions. Let's say the enemies have the jet that is being that play that area of the map 24-7. Like 24-7 she is destroying you from the left side of this uh, window there. Now, I mean her left side, our right side, like I'm not that dumb. Now, what I will do, I will immediately ping that area there. If I have the operator, boop, dead. That, that enemy is donezo, no more, jet. So that is how you can use smart pings as a free crosser placement tool when you're engaging the enemies and when you already know their positions. Number one thing that you need to practice is, of course, practicing your mind, thinking uh, where the enemies played in the previous rounds and where you need to ping in order to engage them. Like, you don't need to ping all the time. This tool is being used to fix your crosser placement. It is not being used... 24-7, like, uh, when you feel that you have bad crosser placement in a game, you can use it to fuck up the enemies at that position and that area of the map. Second thing that you need to get good at is, of course, like, uh, pinging. Like, you need to connect the, the, the dots, uh, connect the angles, and just get good with the pinging. I know already that I need to ping this area in order for my ping to be on the literal right side of this uh, this uh, open area window whatever however you want to call it to kill the enemy there unfortunately with this technique like you need to micro adjust your aim yourself like uh, this is only tool that will help you have a bit better horizontal and vertical crosser placement because i see some people literally engage the enemies like this or they engage the enemies like this or they engage the enemies like in some very effed up ways or they, their crosser placement is literally here. So this tool will just help you to have a bit better overall understanding where the enemies might be horizontally and vertically in order sh to shoot the enemies and F them up. This technique will not fuck up your aim, this technique will not like uh, degrade your aim or something, it will just help you to be a bit better like uh, when aiming at the enemies and when peeking them. How to jump peek for the info, whenever you are jump peeking, like you are doing the jump strafe technique, so you jump and you strafe in the air 
and you try to see if the enemy is maybe on some position that you want to check. Like if the enemy sub operator there, you're trying to check his position with a jump strafe peek. So you jump and you strafe with your D A or D key on the side where you want to go and also make a mouse movement from left to right or right to left in order to make that air strafing uh, proper and right. Whenever you're using this technique, you're never focused on your crosshair because sometimes you, your brain will not process that the enemy is there maybe because of the color of the background or something like that so instead of that what you're focusing on is always the minimap because on minimap the enemies will always show because it will be in the cone of your vision now if you don't have a comms like they are also free communication tool like use them as much as possible you can just uh, sig signalize your uh, teammates that the enemy is maybe there the enemy is maybe here like if you don't have a stupid microphone or you are from Russia or you're banned or anything like just use smart ping so I don't rage in my radiant games because when I see that people are not speaking in the top level of competition I get angry very angry bird gamer whatever the last two ways in which you can use uh, smart pings is as a free wall hack tool and a wall hack tool through smokes so when i say a wall hack tool i again mean like a crosser placement but through walls for example when a, when people buy rs and odin and they want to spam this area you don't need to rely on the minimap or your crosser placement or some stupid i don't know lineups okay i'm gonna line up this with here then my pp goes here and then i shoot the enemies here no you can easily use the smart pings to fuck up the enemies in this area and you already know approximately where you need to shoot in order to kill your enemies. Same goes when you're clearing any angle or any corner like uh, a lot of people don't have a really good perception how deep the corners are in Valorant because they, they are perceived a bit more deeper, uh, I mean a bit more shallow than they actually are because in CSGO we can actually like really really see how deep some angle or corner is. I don't know why in Valorant we have some screwed up perception that the corners and angles are a bit more shallow than they actually are. I see some people penetrate here for an example or I don't know let's say you're playing B site and I see people penetrating this window something like this. Bro this corner is this deep. It's literally deeper than it actually looks like and you need to shoot there in order to kill that enemy. So in order to avoid these type of things like uh, screwed perceptions or penetrating the enemies or like exposing yourself to the enemies etc we can use simply smart pings to ping the corners of these areas and now ex we exactly know where we need to penetrate until we get used to it and at until we learn it those angles and those corners for an example let's say the enemies are pushing you from the B long this wall here is fully penetratable by I think any weapon that has medium or high penetration, I'm not sure. And instead of you just randomly spraying like a boosted gorilla, what you can do, you can simply smart ping this area here, which is between the site and the box. And now you know exactly where you need to spray in order for your bullets to go between this area and not maybe in this box, etc, etc. Or let's say, for example, you're trying to engage the enemy, like enemies are planting the bomb on the A site and you want to penetrate the enemy that is here. You can simply use the smart pings there and now you know exactly where you need to shoot that enemy in order to kill him. You don't need to guess like uh, maybe here, maybe there, I don't know, wherever. You know exactly where you need to shoot that enemy in order to kill him. One more huge tip. Always remember that these boxes don't have the same pattern from all sides. Like if you're shooting the enemy here, you're doing absolutely nothing. Nada. Bullets are not going through because the metal is here and you will not kill your enemies. So you need to memorize on every single map, every single box from both sides, so you don't waste your time, you don't waste your bullets and maybe the enemy is like, oh bro, this bonobo is not hitting me. And you are dead. You are deleted from the map. Remember the patterns of these boxes. This box is penetratable here and here you will destroy the enemy that is playing the, uh, planting the bomb there. If you penetrate here or penetrate here, nothing will absolutely happen because the bullets will not go through this like metal area. 
this is especially useful to learn like on ascent and haven because these boxes exist everywhere and you can simply use my smart pings if you want to be 100 sure where you need to penetrate that enemy in order to kill that enemy so that is how you can use smart pings as a free wall hack tool and a crosser placement tool in valorant and finally we have a free crosser placement tool and a wall hack tool through the smokes so what do i mean by that this is the best example of me engaging the enemies on the b bomb site so let's say i lose the b bomb site we lost the b bomb site i'm rotating from a to ct to b and i have the enemy smoke enemy omen smoke here a lot of times on my streams you will see me do exactly this so basically I don't even engage the enemies. I didn't even go out yet, but I've wasted 15 bullets here and 15 bullets here. Are they wasted? No, they're not. What I did here, I tried like to make some number one lucky play. Maybe I killed the enemy that is playing there and there because these are common usual positions that people play in the hookah area when they take a B site. Number two, I cleared those two positions for my teammates when they decide to go out and we don't need to worry about the right side and left side anymore. Number three, if the enemies were playing there, they, I lured them out. Maybe I didn't kill them, but I will definitely lure them out and they'll be like, Jesus Christ, this charlatan is wall hacking, man. This wall hacker will ban this idiot. And I will also make them rage. Like, you can use this technique to engage the enemies on every single point of map where you think the enemies are playing. Let's say the enemies for six rounds, they take the B site and they're always playing this angle. Or they're always playing this box. Or maybe, I don't know, this, this box here. I forgot that I'm not Jet, so I tried to lie because, yeah, Jet main, you know, <laughs> etc, etc. So, and they always smoke you here. What you can do? Easy, man. Easy. Ping the top of the box here. Ping on top of the box here. Bam! That enemy is dead. Bam! That enemy is dead. And you didn't even peek those enemies. And they are already like minus, I don't know, like minus uh, some HP. Maybe you even kill them there. So this is where smart pings are extremely important. And one of the, like, the best tool that Valorant implemented in this game. You can always use your small, smart pings on the positions where you planted the bomb. And just... Nowhere to run uh, and just kill the enemies and destroy them with a solo ultimate or brimstone molotov or phoenix molotov Whatever you have in your hands like most plants with the smart pinks are really really good as well How you can use the smart pinks as well is uh, basically like you can you can ping the short area here and you can penetrate the enemies with uh, any gun that you have, like a Vandal or Phantom, and you can just kill them with a smart ping there. Or you can also use the smart ping in this area here, in the short area. And you can literally ping this area as the enemies are crossing in, and you can just penetrate them like with the Odin, RS, or maybe Phantom Vandal. It's a very situational thing, and it works really good like with a, when you have a Killjoy or Cypher, like Cypher can put his tripwire here. Or maybe Killjoy can put his alarm bot here, and as soon as that alarm bot gets activated, or the cyber trap like gets uh, destroyed or maybe even triggered, you can try to penetrate the enemies down there. Where this is very very useful is for example in the garage area, where the cypher can put his tripwire here, and when the enemies destroy it, or maybe the enemies get tripwired by that wire, or maybe there is alarm bot of the Killjoy, what you can do with the smart pings, if you're playing B site, you can easily smart ping this area here and you can just penetrate it wherever you think the enemies are. This works really really good with a, unfortunately like Cypher's uh, trip virus if the enemies get triggered, but who knows if that will happen. If you're playing garage area, uh, as any agent, jet, uh, like omen, whatever you have, uh, and the enemies are pushing you here, what you can do to kind of delay that push, you can use the smart pings here and just try to ping the doors area and try to pull the enemies a bit away. Here you can even rip off the enemy's head sometimes and sometimes get a kill so it's very very useful. Or if the enemies are pushing you into garage, what you can do with the smart pings, because usually how the enemies push the garage is either like this or they hug this wall here and they check this. And what I love to do, I love playing this area here and I will just smart ping the right side of the wall and try to kill the enemies that are pushing here. One more way to use the smart pings on the attacker side on Haven is at the beginning of the round. So let's say the enemies are pushing me mid a lot of times. And like in the 10 rounds, the enemies have been playing maybe that area, that angle up there, that angle there, or this angle here. Or for the four rounds in a row, the enemies just pushed us mid. Like this, simple push, like, like people do with a raise bomb, uh, 
and the Sage Slow Orb and they just push the area here. So, to delay that push or even stop that push and surprise the enemies, uh, what I love to do, I love to just penetrate them with my Smart Pings uh, from this area here, from this angle here. So, what I will do, I will literally ping the right side of the wall where the enemies want to push me or where the where I saw the enemies are pushing me and I'll penetrate this area with 30 to 20 like 25 or 30 bullets depending if you have phantom or vandal and I'll try to stop that push you see this on my streams a lot and I get like every single stream I got at least two kills by doing this or I see the enemies oh, Sova, Omen or whoever is playing B-side I don't know like I'm just thinking up agents basically uh, loves to play the left side of the uh, B-doors area I will just ping that area here, I will take my van vandalization and I'll try to kill that enemy through the doors here. Of course you can ADS if you want your spray to be a bit uh, lower, if you really want to concentrate your bullets in the omen's ass that is on the other side of the wall, it's it's all up to you, like I don't know. This is also very useful like if, if you have like the maybe enemies playing that position there, the enemy jet. Like now, not only that you know the horizontal crosser placement, but also you have the vertical, if you know how much you need to pull your crosser from the actual ping. I you can learn that by simply spamming the pings and just uh, get, uh, learning them over time. So I already know I need to shoot here in order to kill that enemy that is up there on the bomb site. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, my dear tricksters, my dear friends, this will be a, just a very short guide how to use smart pings as a free wall hack tool, cross replacement tool for communication, and also how to use inspect weapon to allow yourself to have a bit more advantage over the enemies when you're picking them, when you're holding angles, etc, etc. Also, I answered on some questions live on the stream, so yeah, I'll also put that in this video. And... Like always, make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash charlatan because I'm trying to stream every single day, day every single day from 12 p.m. Central European summertime. And also follow subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on youtube.com slash charlatan. You know that good things are coming. Also, naked pictures on 50,000 subscribers on OnlyFans. Aim lab training routine, very, very hard training routine on 25,000 subscribers. The one that I've used for two months uh, in uh, like uh, it was summer, June and July, when I was reaching the radian for the second time in my life. And make sure to follow me on other social media, twitter.com slash charlatan101 and join my official Discord server if you want to get coached by one and only charlatano papito and yeah, big brain player, small PP and all of that things, you know how it goes. <laughs> so I'm yours one and only, Warden of the Tricksters community. Thank you for watching and...